Hi, today we're going to do some calculus. Specifically, we're going to solve the problem in front of you. So in this game, player one picks A and player two picks B and they move at the exact same time. Player one's payoff is here and player two's payoff is here. And our goal is to find the Nash equilibrium. If you were playing this game with someone else, both of you would read the sheet, you'd see the other person's payoff, then you would each write down the value, you know, player one would write down A, player two would write down B, and then you would reveal. Now, the Nash equilibrium is the no regret outcome. It's a Nash equilibrium if, after you see what the other person wrote, you don't regret your choice. Let's see how to solve this. Let's start with what player one should do. Now, player one has it easy because player one's payoff is not influenced by what player two does. Player one, for all intents and purposes, is playing a game by herself. Now, we can graph 8a minus a squared. We get, we get the graph. This is the value of a and this is the value of, of the function. And we see that this is maximized when a equals 4. So the answer is going to be when a equals 4. That's what player 1 should set a at. But let's make sure, you know, this could be like 4.001. Let's just make sure that it's 4 using a bit of calculus. So if our goal is to maximize 8a minus a squared, then we take first order conditions. That's just, we just take the derivative. And if you're more comfortable, just pretend the a is an x. We take the derivative, and I'm not going to go over the calculus rules, but when you take the derivative, what you get is 8 minus 2a. You set that equal to 0, and, we, and that's solved by a equals 4. So this is the first order conditions for, for to solve a maximization problem. Then to make sure we found a maximum and not a minimum, we have to take the second derivative. So again, we take the derivative of this again, and we get negative 2. And it turns out by the rules of calculus, if the second derivative is a negative, you found a maximum and not a minimum. So yay for us. Now, a equals 4 is actually a dominant strategy for player 1. The reason is that it's, do it's dominant because you want to set a equal 4 regardless of what the other person does. Because, you know, in, in this game, what the other person does doesn't affect you. So setting a equals 4 gives you a higher payoff than setting a equals to anything else, regardless of what the other player does. So a equals 4 is a dominant strategy for player 1. Now let's figure out what player 2 should do. Player 2 must maximize this. That's a little bit harder than what player 1 has to do, because player 2 now has to take into account what player 1 is going to do. But fortunately for us, player two will realize that player one has a dominant strategy of setting a equal to four. So player two will say, okay, I'm officially supposed to maximize this, but I know that player one is going to put four in for this a. So I'm really just going to maximize this. So player two graphs that function, you know, this is the value of B, and this is sort of player uh, two's payoff, and that's maximized at B equals two, right? That's the highest point, but let's use calculus to make sure it's not really like 2.01 or something. So when we use calculus, we maximize this. If, if you're not comfortable with a B, you can just like pretend that's an X and taking the derivative. We, uh, we solve for first order conditions. First order conditions for a maximization mean you take the first derivative and set it equal to zero, okay? And that is equal to zero at b equals two. Then we should check second order conditions. So that means we then take the second derivative and hope it's negative, which it is. So we found a maximum. Now, b equals two is not a dominant strategy. That's because the we got b equals 2 only after deciding that a would be 4. I haven't proved this, but if a were not 4, we would get a different answer. So in this game, player 2 does not have a dominant strategy, although player 1 does. Thank you.